constantly in motion. Yes, and one of the scary things about this platform is if you can combo opponents or pressure them on that platform, you can get earlier KOs on opponents than expected. Please be careful. And especially against a character like Bayonetta, she loves it when her opponents are hanging around above her with the Witch Twist, which is, as you mentioned earlier, you want that blue aura that surrounds her that allows her to start her combos. Yeah, but there it is. Ken, right now, doing a really good job of just sending Salem into the skies. And one thing that we see right now from Ken is the fact that he's conditioning Sam. He wants to understand what his habits are after putting him in a jungle situation from the up throw. One of the things that can actually help him uh, is noticing when the air dodges happen and trying to punish them. So we'll see what Ken does here, baby. And notice how Ken is trying to be careful, not trying to overcommit, as he has a lead with only 37%, He's only trying to hit Salem whenever Salem presses a button first. So playing very careful here. Ken's defense, though, impeccable, only taking 37%. As long, long as he keeps these percents low, he doesn't quite have to worry about getting KO. But then again, this is Bayonetta we're talking about, Vicky. And whenever you hang above Bayonetta, as mentioned earlier, it can be a very early stop for yourself. So you don't want to try to overcommit and jump around too much. Yes, when, you know, when it comes to Bayonetta, this is a combo-heavy character. And right now, Ken just doing an impressive job of altering where he goes after getting hit by Bayonetta using directional influence so that it makes it difficult for Salem to convert even further. And notice how Salem and Ken are respecting each other immensely. They were not pressing any buttons for some time and just kind of having a stare down, being very patient, understanding that both of these characters are have the ability 